Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with a couple of things here. The, the, the main reason we're here is to, we're going to go through this box real quick, but before we get to that, uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, we got, uh, uh, thank you to Kyle, who sent in this Mega Constructs uh, Call of Duty Fighter Ace. Uh, after watching the build video uh, for the Strike Fighter, the P-51 Mustang, uh, from a couple of weeks ago, uh, he uh, took the liberty to uh, grab me another pilot, just in case I need a backup on the uh, airstrip there. Uh, this one is a little bit different from the one that comes with the P-51 Mustang. He's got the same gun, it's probably the same body, I haven't actually uh, compared it yet, but uh, he's got a couple other little details here that uh, differentiate him. But I very much appreciate that, thank you very much Kyle for sending that in. And uh, in the middle, <laughs> we've got uh, Spider-Ham, I'm sure you've all seen the news by now. I appreciate everybody who uh, sent me a notification or a message or whatever to let me know. Thanks for looking out for me. Uh, but uh, there was a rumored list, screen cap, whatever, uh, that uh, there's potentially a Spider-Ham figure coming up in Marvel Legends later this year. Hopefully later this year. Um, but uh, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm very excited. Uh, as you know, th there's lots of different artistic interpretations of characters. Uh, this is my preferred look for Spider-Ham, and of course this is the look from way back in the 80s uh, when he was first making the rounds. Uh, the thing is, the thing they gotta get right uh, is the snout. His nose is really long and these square boxed, you know, sort of ears. Uh, and then just the proportions on the body. I really want to see them hit that. There's a couple other artists working now who've done a pretty good job pulling from this model. Uh, but then there's other artists who make him just look like a fat baby uh, with a very pig-shaped head. And it shouldn't be pig head. And even, uh, even in the corner box here, I don't like this version because he's got these short little rounded ears. He's got short little rounded off ears as opposed to these, you know, really long box ears. And you might ask yourself, does that look like a pig? It's close enough, but without getting into the whole history of Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham was a parody, sort of, of uh, Dave Sims' Cerebus the Aardvark. Uh, so he really should have more in, of an Aardvarkian <laughs> head as opposed to a pig head, even though he is Peter Porker the Spectacular Spider-Ham. Anyway, I'm very excited about it. There's a lot of potential there. Trying to keep my uh, emotions in check. Uh, trying to stay even, not don't get too high, don't get too low, because uh, there still is the chance that A, this could be the only Spider-Ham figure that ever gets produced, uh, and B, I might not actually like it, and that would be a pretty big disappointment after all these years. Anyway, let's get to the box. Uh, we've done boxes like this before. This one's actually from Mrs. Toy Galaxy. Uh, she travels for her job, uh, and uh, whenever she's out and about Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, <clears throat> excuse me, all these places, uh, she will, uh, she'll hit up the little shops, antique stores, thrift stores, toy stores, secondhand shops, all those shops, uh, and, uh, and she'll just grab stuff and she'll throw a box like this together. Uh, keep in mind, this is not for me. Uh, these boxes never happened, uh, before we started making this show. So she's not doing this for me, she's doing this for you guys, <laughs> so I hope you appreciate that. Uh, I do appreciate it because she always picks out really good stuff, mostly. Some of it's not, you know, some of it's like whatever, but... She's, uh, she's got a pretty good eye, but we're gonna just take a look here. I haven't seen anything in this box yet, so I'm just gonna grab whatever's uh, first here. First off, we have uh, Skeletor, Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. Uh, this is cool. I've got uh, We've got several others, Transformers, Batman, Spider-Man, Captain America, all kinds of things, Star Wars, but uh, I think that's the first He-Man one we have, and I'm not sure how many figures are in that line just yet. I'm, I'm guessing they started with He-Man and did Skeletor uh, second. This is, oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, what was this line called? It just says JLA, but, uh, I thought there was a different name for this. It's part of that, like, Extreme Justice, uh, line, whatever it was, uh, I can't, was it Extreme Justice? Anyway, Superman Red, uh, and Superman Blue, did they do both of them? Collect them all. Yep, Superman Red and Superman Blue. Uh, this is neat, mint on card. It's not the best line of figures ever. There's a little bit, it's, it's got a little bit of that sort of, uh, nostalgia quality, um, they're unique, I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. They're very unique figures. Uh, and I hated Superman Red, Superman Blue when it was happening, uh, but it's just like everything else. You know, at the time you're like, ah, oh, this can't be permanent, it's terrible, that doesn't look anything like Superman. And then when you can be 10, 15, 20 years away, away from it, 98, um, you can say, ah, they were just trying to mix it up, tell a story, an interesting story, and I should have known better that uh, everything always goes back to the way it was, to, to status quo in the end anyway, and that's my fault. Sorry, DC. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, hey, look at this. <clears throat> what a surprise. Got a vintage Kenner Boba Fett. Uh, off the top of my head, I think this is 364. 
not 100% positive, I would have to check that. This is a really sharp one. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's just a little bit of paint missing on his chest plate there. Really, really tight joints. Everything else looks great. Um, he's always missing paint there. It's just, it's a large, flat, smooth space of open plastic uh, that tends to contact, you know, all the surfaces uh, right there before anything else. That's great stuff. Move it right along on that collection, the Boba set. All right, this is a whole bag of stuff. Back up a little bit here. It's a whole bag of Galactic Heroes Star Wars stuff. A lot of good things in here. Jabba, got the skiff. Oh, even got both wings for the skiff, that's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna try to put that on right now. That's awesome though. We got Lando's helmet. Chewbacca's bowcaster, Obi-Wan, Gamorrean guard, this guy, whose name I can't remember. Here's Lando. Put that helmet on him. There's a bunch. Uh, we have, we've been putting, building a collection of these forever, and I'm sure a lot of you are. But uh, there's definitely some figures we haven't had before here, so that's exciting. We got uh, Ghost, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Han, 3PO, Ooh, Leia's Boosh. Leia's Bausch is in here. There she is with her helmet and all. These are two of the best figures. Uh, obviously, I love Boba Fett, but uh, characters with helmets uh, always get me. So I loved uh, Lando and Leia uh, when they were first released back in 83 80, uh, with Return of the Jedi. Ah, look at this, Han and Carbonite. Awesome. You can sit over here next to Boba Fett. What else we got? We got... Muddy R2-D2. I'm assuming this is from Dagobah. And Chewbacca. Vader, Han, regular. And episode two Obi-Wan. And Darth Maul. And then a little uh, pod racer micro machine piece. But, oh, and Greedo's in here too. Okay, very cool. That's a great batch of figures. Two different Luke Jedi's here as well. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I love those figures. It's a great little set. I'm, I like these a lot better than the new Galactic Heroes. I just the aesthetic look of them I prefer. Uh, something about, I don't know. These are these are cuter uh, than the ones that are out now, in my opinion. Ah, right, we got the uh, Mach 6. We got batteries in here. How's this work? No. Oh. That's bad. Remember there's batteries in it. Oh, hey, they work. Good thing. Oop. That is going in the wrong direction. Can that be fixed? Hmm. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I wonder if this is supposed to have a remote control that has it, uh, a button operated that makes it go the other way. I'll have to fiddle with that. Uh, I, Mach 6 is weird. Uh, it's, it's grown on me a little bit. Uh, when this movie came out, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely hated it. Uh, I didn't want, you know, it's it's that whole thing of like, oh, we've never seen a, a Speed Racer movie before. We finally get it on screen, and what do they want to do? Well, let's destroy the Mach 5 and move on to the Mach 6. No, give me at least one full movie of the Mach 5 before you move on to the Mach 6. Uh, but now I can appreciate it for what it is, just like with uh, Superman Red and Blue. Say it was a, to my face. It was a good story decision. <laughs> uh, Raphael. Um, I don't know anything about this. All right. What else do you say? Not this Alright, you need to keep your opinions to yourself, Raphael. I'm gonna push him to the back of the <laughs> He'll look good on the shelves in the, the back of the uh, show. Ah, look at this. We got uh, Movie Storm Shadow. None of his gear, but that's fine. I like this figure a lot. Uh, not a big fan of the movies, but um, I do like a lot of the designs that came out of it, and uh, I thought Storm Shadow was great in all of the movies. This is... Now we got another uh, vintage Star Wars figure here. We got Snaggletooth, looking good. Put him over here next to Boba Fett. And we've got this. Just a random Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Not sure what he goes to. Probably some, uh, probably attached to some playset or something. I don't know. He's not like bendy or anything, just hard plastic. Not my favorite Spider-Man suit. And we got, oh, we got some, uh, we got, uh, I don't know, I don't remember what this line was called for Batman. Uh, I think, is this Imaginext? Is that the line there? With his, uh, yellow outfit and motorcycle helmet. Uh, and then movie Spider-Man. And 
Not much left in here. We've got, oh, another Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, little one. It's not a bad figure, it's a little poseable. Knees, elbows, that's not a bad figure, that's cool. I don't, what I don't like is when uh, you have uh, figures that don't have waists. Uh, you know, obviously, so there's no, there's no swivel there, but uh, there's no crunch, and I don't like it when there's no crunch and they arch the back that much. Like, yeah, I get it, you know, it makes for a nice sort of imposing superhero stance, uh, but it doesn't make for good, you know, posing otherwise, but uh, this is a nice little figure. Wasn't a big fan of the gold lenses. I got it, I understood it in terms of the story, but, uh, oh, hey, who's in here? Hey, wait a minute, did somebody already open this? Kind of ruins the fun. Oh, yeah, it looks like huh, that's weird. It's been already open. All right, well, it was pretty clearly going to be Stratos from the weapons, but that's neat. I picked up a couple of the other there's a couple other figures uh, from this line. I didn't buy any of these new uh, when they came out. Uh, they were just a bit out of my price range uh, that I was willing to spend on something like this, which is too bad because obviously the brands were hitting all the right notes. Uh, but I did recently grab a couple others here. Uh, they were on super duper clearance at Walmart. Uh, this is Major Blood. And of course, you know, it's like I grab, I think they were like marked down to like two or three bucks. So I grab like four or five of them and I get like three Major Bloods, uh, a uh, Crimson, Gu Crimson Guard, I think. Uh, and Roadblock, no Snake Eyes, obviously the one that I wanted. Um, and then, uh, no, no, they didn't have any of the Thundercats ones either. All right, so we got Batman again. We've got a terrible, terrible, terrible Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. Oh, look, his, light, uh, his lightsaber's actually lighting up there, but uh, there's no blade unless it's in the box. Uh, this was a two-pack thing, as I recall, that was like a Force Effects thing. Right, so the button lights up his lightsaber. That's not a bad effect, actually. Now that I think of it, looking at it like that. And then uh, this book here, uh, uh, Miss Toy Galaxy left a note on the front of it here, and it says, this book is uh, patron Zach G, uh, Franklin Toy Show. Uh, thought it was cool when I found it in uh, Saratoga Springs Thrift Shop. What the note means is uh, this book is uh, illustrated by Zach Gialongo, uh, who happens to be one of our uh, patrons on our Patreon, and I was... <laughs> Uh, we were at a toy show in uh, Franklin, Mass. not too long ago, and Zach happened to be there, and I was there, and he, he said hi, and we, we got to talking, uh, uh, had uh, had a great conversation, it was very nice to meet him in person, uh, and he, he told me about all of his illustration work and the comics that he was making, uh, this book here, uh, he also had a uh, Ewoks uh, story that uh, he did, and he was very generous, he gave me uh, a copy of each of the books, uh, and so <laughs> Kate, uh, Mrs. Toy Galaxy, uh, picked this book up when she was in uh, Saratoga Springs, New York, uh, and happened to find this at a thrift shop, so she was not going to not buy it, uh, and that's really fantastic. And even what's even better here is uh, if Zach is watching, hopefully, um, the there's sort of like activities. It's a bit of a coloring book, uh, and there's some activities you can do here, like on this page, what, what strange gadget did Chewie find on the Millennium Falcon? And then you're supposed to draw it in. And there's a very, very, very tiny little gun <laughs> drawn in here. Uh, and then later on, you know, somebody tried, but they're not really, I don't know, they're not really giving it uh, the full effort here. Uh, I, I feel like if somebody would have put uh, a, pair, a set of crowns, maybe some markers in, in this person's hand, uh, they might have had uh, a little bit more fun with it. Draw Leia's new hairstyle. I don't know what's going on here. She's got like a ponytail and flowers maybe, feathers, uh, and then Yoda's just rocking a, uh, a bun of some sort on top of his head. Might be an actual bun. Uh, and then a Jawa under his hood. Uh, so uh, props to whoever took the time to start doing some of these sketches, uh, but uh, disappointing that nobody liked your work enough that uh, they wanted to keep the book. But that's a really great, uh, that's a really great pickup. Uh, check out Zach's work also. He does really fantastic stuff. All right, we got, uh, wrapping this up, we got another Spider-Man here whose shoulder joint does not want to go down. This is a messed up looking spider suit. Glad that one never made it to the movie. We got Electro, uh, and then this guy who is, I believe, from Toy Story. Uh, I don't remember which movie though. Uh, and I don't remember what the name of that line is. Uh, and that's it for the box. Not on my watch. Oh, Raph. 
Uh, very cool. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll be posting uh, at least uh, Boba Fett's going to get a post here on Instagram as part of the Boba set. Uh, thank you to Mrs. Toy Galaxy for picking all that stuff up. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check in in the comments. A lot of good stuff here. Later. <laughs>